Rebounding. Honestly, probably one of my favorite parts of practice because I think in order for you to, to advance, you've got to be a team that rebounds it. You know, we've been a pretty daggone good rebounding team during my time at Xavier when I took over for Sean, who's an incredible rebounding coach, and we've tried to continue that. But I think it all, it all starts with the mindset. Okay, we're going to do a couple drills here. Why don't we give, give me my two fives for blue and white out here and give me a basketball. Can I have a ball here? It's a good one, okay? We put a bubble up. I'm sure you guys have seen that. You put a bubble up on the rim. Number one, if you want to be a good rebounding team, you can teach technique. I've seen all different types of technique. I've seen, you know, Tom Izzo, hit and go get it. Just hit your guy and go get it. I'm a little bit older school in that I want you to seal. I want you to hit. I want you to carve out space. I want you to keep your guy on your back. And I want you to be able to seal your man when you're a defensive rebounder. But make no mistake, and Charles Barkley talked about it when he played, it doesn't really matter any philosophy. Just go get the damn ball. And that's, that's where it starts, a complete attitude. So we try to teach and really try to pound into our guys having an attitude on the glass. This is the drill we'll do right here. Both of you have your back to me. I'm going to be at the foul line. So you're right here, side by side, side by side, shoulder to shoulder. Get, get, you're battling for position here in a second. So you better be touching shoulders, touching feet. All right, that's as soft as I've ever seen. All right, so here. I mean, I'm going to shoot this ball up here in a second. So you guys can start just like this. And there's going to be one winner. Hold up, fellas. And there's going to be one loser. If the ball hits the ground, we're going again. So they have to get it before it hits the ground. We said that whoever wins the drill, the winner is going to go at the half court, and the loser, we're going to make him sit in the corner. That's how we're going to do this drill. This is simple. This is caveman-like. Are we ready? Here we go, shot. Here, go again, go again, go again. So, you gotta be in the middle now. Split it midline. Ready, here we go, shot. Good, there's one. All right, give me twos. Two guard, I'm sitting over in the corner. Two guards, go, blue and white, doesn't matter. Shoulder to shoulder, right in the middle of the floor. Take the space you want. Here we go, shot. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Good, there's a winner, there's a loser. Are you on blue or white? White, so you got one white, one blue. All right, here we go, give me the threes. You ready? Shot's going up, rebound it. Good, go again. Let's go, man, Let's grab the ball. Shot's up. Good, go again. I just want to teach attitude on the glass. Shot. Good, all right. Now what, that might be a little rah-rah drill. And I'm going to tell you right now, when the losing team, so if we have seven guys maybe on each team, seven blues, seven whites at Xavier, the first team that has four guys at half court, they win. It might be four nothing. I'm going to tell you, their teammates are cheering them on because the losing team, we're going to run right before we shoot free throws. That might be the last drill that we do. And again, is that teaching a technique? No, but it's teaching an attitude, being strong, wanting the basketball, 